I'm now speaking with Councillor Candidate David Gormley. David, would you like to introduce yourself, please? For those of you who don't know me, my name is David Gormley. I'm a husband to wife, Deanna, a father and a grandfather, and I've been in uh, the town for the past 50 years. I guess most of the 50 years I've been here. Okay, for, for your first question, the recently tabled federal budget has earmarked funding for green initiatives. How do you see Heartland benefit, benefiting from these funds? To be honest with you, I'm not really up to date on the green issue. Uh, I do know that we need more solar and wind power. Anything that we put on the table now should have that built into the, the structure itself to cut back on greenhouse emission. I switched over to them uh, heat pumps to cut back on oil consumption, which did a really good job because it cut it in about a third. So. I, I, there is a lot of stuff out there that we can uh, do to make some funding for in our building projects. Okay. How would you ensure continued growth and development in the town of Heartland while maintaining a favorable tax rate for businesses and residents? Uh, when I was on council before, this was always an issue. Uh, for a small town, we have a lot of lot of stuff that we need to maintain and. We've got uh, potential for growth, but we don't have a lot of growth in the area as of now. We should uh, make sure that we keep the businesses we have in town and uh, hope to help them out any way we can in expansions or whatever. To Because I don't really favor putting up taxes. I prefer to increase the tax base and put up taxes. As a taxpayer myself, I know that we have one, one of the highest rates in the area, so I would like to see that we don't go any higher. Okay. Harland has almost 2,000 jobs in town, while less than 1,000 people live here. What should the town do to attract more people to live in Harland and retain the residents that we currently have? Well, as I said before, I moved away twice due to business and moved back to take over a business. It's, uh, I, I find that uh, we're limited in space in the town of Harlem. We're surrounded by agriculture area and the river on one side. But we, we do need to help out any people that want to build complexes or whatever. Whether we make sure that they have access to the water and sewer or what we can do. But we, we do not need to increase the tax taxes on the people that's already existing. We need to help them out to get to a better place. Okay. And for the final question, how do you see the development of recreation facilities and tourism establishments in Heartland, and how would you balance that spending with transportation and utility infrastructure needs? For the last 10 years, there's, there's been a, a thing about this recreational center that we need, and the, the old one was going to fall on the ground. I actually was on council at the time that they had two people come in and assess the arena and there was stuff we could have done at the time to make it better than it is now but we didn't we we do need the recreation right now with the cost of everything going up about twice what it was two years ago i don't know if that price is feasible right now uh we do need the roads and the infrastructure we got to balance we got if i get elected to council we've got to try to balance everything so we have everything that we've had or maintain what we have. And uh, I find it, it's gonna be a challenge with the cost and stuff to maintain what we have. Good job. Okay, and now I'll let you have your, your closing remarks. <laughs> I have been on council before and I know the challenges that everybody faces. It don't matter if you're a small community, big community, the provincial and federal governments have downloaded stuff onto the towns that we never had before 20 years ago. And I feel that we need to go after the government to make sure that they're not downloading more than we can handle and so we can maintain what we have and increase our, our population and tax base. Thank you. Okay.